Vermont State University's Labor Task Force says the structure of VTSU needs to be changed in order to save the institution. Today at the State House, educators and a labor union spoke about concerns for the future of the university system, including saying that they have no confidence in leadership. This comes in response to the university administration's optimization 2.0 plan, which faculty say falls short. They're pushing back against layoffs and hoping for a change in the number of administrators. Bills are headed to the floor of the Senate and the House requesting changes from the university. And we have a bloated and growing administration, growing in the wrong places and at the expense of student-centric positions eliminated in the name of savings. For 5,500 students, we have a chancellor's office, a president's office, a shared services systems, and a plethora of newly created positions. The bill requests adding faculty and staff trustees to the board, eliminating the requirement for the university to cut $5 million each year for five years, and also opening the door for the controversial potential closing of a campus. In response, Vermont State College's systems chancellor says in part, quote, the Vermont State College's system is transforming to achieve financial sustainability and modernizing to meet the needs of students today. We know that this amount of change on the timeline required by the state has been difficult and not all agree with transformation. Now is the time to move forward, not look back.